Hello and welcome to this Affinity software tutorial. Now I'm going to be doing this in Designer but um, I know it works the same in Affinity Photo and I'm 99.9% .9 certain it will work the same in Publisher. Now this all came about from the Facebook group Affinity Designer Photo and Publisher group and someone has uh, Dan Ben has asked this question any idea how this can be done in Affinity Designer I can get close using the outer glow effect but can't get the inside to be transparent as well if I make the text transparent with an outline the outer glow won't work so let's have a sort of closer look at this image now I'm guessing this is a non-Affinity screen grab possibly photoshop or something like that um, because it does seem to have a transparent text uh, area and it does seem to have an outline with the outer glow so i'm guessing he's trying to recreate this look in affinity designer very hard to tell when you don't have the full screen shot but that is my best guess so coming to affinity designer i've set this up with three different text layers all with the word affinity on so I'm going to have a look at the top layer and I just want to sort of set up a very basic text with an outline um, so just to do the basic one at the top here you can set the font color which is black at the moment but you can't sort of set the outline color now in Affinity Designer you have a stroke tab uh, I believe it's not available in Affinity Photo and possibly not in Publisher but even then from this tab you cannot set the color of the stroke or outline um, for this you need to come to this A icon here which is the character tab and as you can see the font color is in here but also the outline color so if I click on this and we'll go for this green color and then you can set the width of that outline from this slider here now it is badly affecting the text so if I click on this draw stroke behind the black text will stay sort of dominant and not be overwritten by the green outline now if you change the font color from black to none you do not get a see-through or transparent area where the text was because that green is being drawn behind where the black text was so let me put this back to black and get rid of the color and width of stroke now the way to sort of do this is not by the text sort of tools but by the effects tools now you can do this from either the effects tab like that or I prefer to do it from this FX icon down here just click on that and it will open the effects layer uh, layer effects I should say sorry and there we have outline so I put a tick in outline and, and then click on the word outline we get the options for the outline and we can set the color so again I'll come to green and we will incre I'll increase the radius and you can change the alignment of at the moment it's set on outside but you can sort of center it or you can have it on the inside which will basically just 
cover it over so on the outside now to make the text transparent and just leave the green you need to change the fill opacity from 100 down to 0 and then that will give you the just the outline and you can see through the text which is basically what this person wanted um, similarly if I come to this second um, layer here and again add the layer effects to that layer and I'm going to at this point just drop the fill opacity down to zero so you can't see the text and then you come to the outer glow put a tick in the outer glow and then change the color to this green and then increase the radius and intensity to to your particular taste I mean you could reduce the intensity no you're not necessarily restricted to just being on a hundred which is as far as this slider will go you could type in a higher number say 200 and that will increase the effect like that and you could then also add an outline in I mean the same color but I'll go with a different color so you can see the effect and just add a bit of outline and you've got the outer glow as well so hopefully those two layers will answer in whatever combination um, Dan's question now there is a sort of another way that you could do this if I come to the bottom layer here if I add a new layer, a new pixel layer, and I'll drag it down and put it underneath that layer, I could get the brush tool and we'll set the color to green. And the brush will go with that brush there. Make sure I'm still on the. So I could just sort of paint randomly behind this and you could get whatever sort of effect that you want but something like that just randomly and then select the text layer and change its blend mode to erase that will then give you the transparent text that way um, so you could use one of these ways or a variations of these ways to get the effect that you might be after now this isn't just true of uh, like text this will sort of be true of shapes as well so if I for example get this shape here this heart shape Now, with the shapes, you do get the options for fill and stroke colors. So let's go for an obvious red for the heart. I'm going to leave the stroke color on green. See, so I can change the stroke there. Just have it on the behind. But similar, like be a bit of text. If I try and take away the red color it will still show up where the green was so let me take away my stroke color so the same thing would apply add in the effects give them the outline change this again to green and then 
just drop in the fill opacity. So basically there you have it, be it text or shape, you can get rid of the main fill color from the effects panel and drop in the fill opacity rather than the fill color opacity is very sort of very similar names and terms but they have two different effects so hopefully this will answer Dan's question and thank you for watching and goodbye